No worries, checking in right now. Hey, Chris here, back with another tip. I'm a product manager and I'm about to check one of my products that I'm responsible for, which is an oak bunk bed that I sell out of my main warehouse. Um, I've just heard that it's uh, moving a lot faster than we're used to moving in the past month. So I'm just going to check out whether my stock levels are still healthy for it. So I'm going to go to my main warehouse in AIM and I'm going to grab this product just by seeking for the product description here. And I see it's here. It's this top one, the King single bunk bed. All right. I'll apply this filter and that should show me that item. Yeah. So I see it here. My uh, current stock on Antoine B is four, sitting in between the existing min stock and max stock, which is between two and 10. So that's looking within limits uh, based on the last time I calculated, but now I'm going to recalculate uh, the stock levels here. So we're used to keeping a certain amount of days of stock. We order it once every quarter or once every half a year. I will say minimum days of stock that I want to hold for this is 90 days worth. And the maximum days of stock that I want to hold is every half a year for my purchasing cycle. And based on these levels, I see it's healthy right now, but that's based on the past date range of the, this year. I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit and look at the last three months, see if that's still going to be accurate there. All right, the past three months, not looking too bad, but they just told me that it's been ticking up. So I'm going to look at the past one month. All right, here we go. I do see that it's actually uh, the rate of demand has ticked up significantly. Um, and so that's a new trend that I need to account for. So what I see here is the new uh, minimum stock level based on that uh, new demand trend uh, subsisting uh, across the coming half a year is going to be that I need to have at least five. So I'm already understocked based on that minimum stock level. I'm already hitting the reorder point. And then my new maximum stock to replenish to is nine. So what I'll do here without any further ado, submit the set and make sure that we are going to reorder this product. And this is how I would go through all of my different products that I'm responsible for. Now, this is all based on the historic rate of demand. And if historic behavior is a good indicator for continued behavior, then that's great. Otherwise, I would dive into forecasting and have a look at uh, specifying the uh, rate of demand that I'm uh, expecting month on month on month so that I can en ensure that my stock levels that I set are going to actually hold stock cover for the reorder window that I'm going to be ordering for. So it gives me a lot more specificity and control. In this case, with this product, I'm comfortable just going off of the historics. All right, bye.